Come November, two independent candidates will appear on the ballot in Lisbon's race for mayor. Incumbent Pete Wilson will take on Council President Don Thomas. First News reporter Jacob Thompson talked with the candidates about their campaigns. Incumbent Pete Wilson will take on Council President Don Thomas to become Lisbon's next mayor. I am good under pressure. Um, I can prioritize, think clearly, and I know how to lead, which is a very important quality that a mayor needs to have. I'm in the office every day, morning and afternoon, because I think it's important that Lisbonites know I'm here. If you have a complaint, a suggestion, a problem, I want to resolve it. I'm here to listen. One thing Wilson says he would like to continue focusing on is getting grants for the village. Our village's infrastructure, like most municipalities, it's crumbling. We need to replace a lot. Water lines, sewer lines, roads and bridges. That is a given. We have to look for financing. While Thomas says she'd like to take an internal look at the village's operation. How we conduct business ourselves. Are we trustworthy? Are we open and somebody that others would want to do business with, our surrounding organizations and municipalities? And if not, work on that. In the way of business in Lisbon, Thomas wants to work with the businesses to help get them grants and help them work with each other. I would like to form a business committee um, of existing and new business owners, uh, kind of have some mentors there to let our new businesses know what works and what doesn't work. While Wilson wants to make it easier for people to get to the businesses. The village is one of the few municipalities, if not the only municipality in Columbiana County, that still uses parking meters. I think it's ridiculous to charge an indirect tax on people visiting the village. In 2019, the village passed an income tax to help the police department with pay. Both candidates say they're still working out ways to hire and keep officers. Just one month ago, two months ago, we received a police retention grant for $36,000. Up the benefits, the insurance. We need to make sure that they have the resources that they need. In Lisbon, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.